In the women's flyweight division at UFC, a fight night, you got Andrea Lee coming in at 13 and 6, taking on Macy Barber, who comes in at 11 and 2 and needs a victory here. But Andrea Lee, very tough. She's one inch taller at 5'6, has a 5 inch reach advantage, 70 to 65. She fights right handed. Macy Barber is a switch dance fighter. Now, in terms of activity, that goes to Andrea Lee 5.4 significant strikes per minute to 4.4. For Barber, she also lands more takedowns, nearly one every other round, slightly better than that, but about one every other round compared to one over the course of three rounds <clears throat> for Macy Barber. So takedown defense becomes important. Andrea Lee, 56%, Barber, 66%. So that evens things up a little bit. Andrea Lee coming off the loss to Vivian Araujo by decision, but before that, she won two in a row against a tough Cynthia Calvillo by KO and Antonita Shevchenko by submission. She's two and one in the last three. Now, Macy Barber came into the UFC hot, winning four in a row. Then she lost to Alexa Grasso. We see how good she is. And a tough Roxanne Modafari, who was a tough veteran at the time for her. So one four in a row, lost two in a row. Now has won three in a row against Miranda Maverick. Split decision. Montana De La Rosa, decision. Jessica I, decision. But how good are those fighters? Right, that that's the question. How good are those fighters? Andrea Lee, when she loses, loses by a decision. She's capable of finishing opponents. I think this is going to go to a decision. And as much as I probably would like to see Macy Barber win, I think Andrea Lee is more of the veteran, has more experience, and is going to edge this thing out as it comes down to the third round. So I think Andrea Lee is going to win this thing. And I hate to say that, but it is what it is. Andrea Lee is going to win this thing by decision to move to 14 and 6, women's flyweight division, UFC fight night.